are back today. We're going to be doing two hours of how to elevate your handbag collection. Um, we're going to be looking at really amazing staple pieces, classics, new and vintage, and um, pieces that hold their value. We've got a mix of brands as well, so it's going to be a really, really fun show. Um, so Sarah actually surprised me. I thought it was going to be a solo show, so I'm so happy I have Sarah here with me today. Um, we've also got Rachel moderating from behind the scenes. So today we're going to be covering your customs and duties. We ship globally, so wherever you're located in the world today, you can shop with Luxury Promise today, and we will cover those customs and duties. Just put my phone on, do not disturb. Okay. Um, we accept all major forms of credit cards, debit cards, PayPal, Amex, and Apple Pay. And if you guys are watching on the Luxury Promise Instagram, make sure to head over to the website as we cannot see your comments. If you do want to interact in the comments, ask us any questions about um, any of the pieces we're showing, just make sure to head over to the website because we cannot see your comments. Um, what's the crock birkin you're wearing in the photo for the show? Susie, I think it might be an old photo. Um, I think it might be an old photo. I'm actually not mm. sure on the picture. I haven't seen it. Um, I can let you know after the show, but I can't see it myself. Am I wearing a grey suit? And I'm, I'm carrying like a Mac Croc Birkin. That was last year. Um, Susie, if that's something you want us to source, you've got my number and we can definitely work on that um, for you. And Alexandria, myself and Sarah, we've done shows before <laughs> in the hardly, past, hardly, but hardly. Yeah, hardly. hardly. I, love doing, I love doing shows with Sarah because we have like very different styles. Yes. But... I always love everything Sarah puts on as soon as she picks it up. And so. I, I, I actually feel the same about you. Yeah, There's it's really loads of nice. things that Grace is able to pull off and I just think I would never be able to do that. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments. We're going to get right to it. We've got two yes. hours. Rachel's here. I'm going to let you pick your first piece. Yeah, but. I mean, should we give a quick yeah, sneaky peek? Let, let me, me do a... Grace has picked a really cute selection today. I mean, I'm really excited to show all these bits. I have to say, this is one of the best walls we've had for a while, a in my opinion. <laughs> um, so we've got classics. We have thrown in some shoes because we wanted to give you guys some classic shoes that go with everything. We've also got a mix of brands, as you can see. One of my favourites is this bag at the top here, which I did a, a small preview um, on yesterday's stories. We've got everything from Goyard to Valentino to Bottega to Louis Vuitton, and then obviously those classic as pieces as yes. well. So we will be styling throughout the show. Um, we'll be kind of trying things on. And also this jacket I'm wearing is actually for sale. So we'll get this pinned at some point in the show as well. Yeah. You guys might have seen this on Look the shows. At that. It is perfect for London weather right yeah. now as well. How cold is it in London? It's so cold. I've literally got layers of thermals on and I'm still freezing. Still, even I'm with so this? cold. Really? Yeah, I'm oh. such a cold person. It's cold in the building today to be honest. Hi Garnet, how are you? Hello Garnet. Happy New Year everyone. This is, is this your first show in 2024? I did a power hour yesterday, did, but this yeah. is my first evening show of 2024, so I'm really, really excited. Uh -huh. The Goyard is burgundy, yes. Maybe we can start there. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's I do it. I actually picked this one out purely yeah. because it's new. I love, it's firstly, it's new, <laughs> and a lot of people Rachel, are... Rachel, need the skew. Oh, of course. Sorry, Rachel, I always forget to do this. Let me start off by giving you the skew. It is ALC1015. And this is the Goyard tote. Now, one of the reasons why I picked this out is just purely because it's pretty much a lot of people's first week back and everyone yeah. wants probably, it's like that. You know, remember when we used to go to school, like you were, after like a big holiday, we'd get new stationery, new bags. And I mean, when I was uh, working full time as well, I would do stuff like that for the new year as well. And I yeah. think this is a perfect going to work bag, whether you're going to work or you're a uni student, or even if you're a mom, this is the perfect, perfect bag for uh, something like that. I agree, yeah. Um, One of the things about Goyard is, like you said, I would wear it, my mum would wear it, absolutely. you would wear it, Sabrina would wear it. Yeah. Like it can be used for work, for travel, uh, if you have kids. Um, absolutely. Literally, even, even like when you're packing, like say if you're going to like Paris for the weekend and you want to go shopping, yeah. this is flat packs into your luggage as well. They're yeah. really light, so actually it's Super great to lightly, carry stuff. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And honestly, this colour is also This really is so the beautiful. colour of the season. I it actually, really my, basically my whole power hour yesterday was all around burgundies and reds because yeah. it is so on trend right now. It truly is. So this is a perfect, perfect piece to start with. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Now this one, as you can see, is a brand new untouched piece. It still actually has its seals, as you can see on the handle. It is complete with its original dust bag. Absolutely crisp interior. Look at that. That 
cream against the burgundy is honestly such a lovely contrast as well. And I can't even express how lightweight this is. Honestly, this would be comfortable on the shoulder, comfortable on the crook of the arm. And also it has this little feature as well, which is so handy. Yeah. Honestly, when you're traveling and you want to put some important documents in or whether, you know, you want to put like your valuable things like your keys. I am that girl who has the keys at the bottom of my bag. And it's Can taken me, them. I'm like literally hunting through. This is why I carry mini micro bags. Yeah, you carry minim, minimum. So this is something that would be super handy for me because all my essentials, like my key, like my card holders and like my lip, favorite lip gloss would be the perfect, perfect little thing. So you, you know exactly what to... Um, get when you go into this pouch so yeah this one is brand new oh are we congratulating someone really already med school gift garnet congratulations did she buy it let us know <laughs> what you're after today oh. um this is a great price by the way for this bag and yeah. not to mention goyard is up there with Hermes in terms of like being able to access yeah. the pieces directly from the boutique. So this is a really, really great price at £2,200. Yeah. That's $2,796 US dollars. Um, I personally absolutely love this colour. Yeah. I know I keep saying it. But I really love this colour for spring, for summer. I think this colour in, in the summer with like linens and dresses looks I agree. really, really nice. Yeah. And works so well with cream as well. So lighter tones work just as well with the dark tones with this bag. What are your thoughts, Grace, about having it personalised? I wouldn't. You wouldn't? I wouldn't. Is there a reason? There's nothing against personalisation of bags, but when, if you ever needed to sell the bag, That's it true. wouldn't sell for as much. And I tend to buy with the vision of an investment nice. and I always like to make my money back and if I were to have it personalized I wouldn't make my money back so I personally wouldn't but I think it looks great yeah. and if you don't have the int if there's no intention of ever selling the bag yeah. um then I then I think go for it yeah but yeah and that's so interesting because actually I'm the polar opposite are you so I when I buy my bags I never ever look to you never you never, never have though ne you'll never. go into Louis Vuitton yeah. you'll pay full price I'll pay full price yeah. and then I'll be like this is my bag and yeah. then I'll do like all the custom stuff because it's it's it belongs to me and I like it a bit more personalized so yeah. it's really interesting to know everyone's different thoughts but yeah I would definitely get this I'd take it to the store get maybe like a strip of color get some initials I think it just makes it a bit more quirky quite yeah. fun yeah I agree love it um, I would say if you do like the personalization and you want to hold the value, maybe don't go for the initials. Exactly. Go for, like like something you said, else. something else. Yeah. Um, I think initials really narrows down to who can buy the bag. Whereas if you do something a bit more generic, then it will hold its value as well. Yeah. Um, this has... Uh, Goyard do hand paint their um, personalizations. Yeah, this is all hand painted actually. The yeah. Goyard canvas is all hand painted. We've got 50 people here right now, which I'm wow. really, really happy about. Thank you guys for being here with <laughs> us today. Um, this is uh, pinned at 2,200 pounds. Yeah. The pouch is not detachable, um, which in, in a sense is good because it keeps it secure to the yeah. bag. However, it is attached with just two stitches. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you did want to kind of unpick yeah. it, you could yeah. um, as an option. Um, oh, but shall I show you something very interesting? Yeah. If you wanted to just take the purse out, there is this feature. Oh, Look. there we go. Very so cool. Detachable. So you can remove the purse, but you'll just have to tuck this in to the actual bag. But this... Um, which is actually a really cool feature because if you're changing, chopping and changing bags, yeah. you can quickly remove this one and just add it to your another handbag, yeah. I guess. This so. would be my travel wallet. So my yeah. passport, my um, my boarding pass, my yeah. cards when I'm at the airport is going to fit perfectly yeah. into this inside a bigger bag as and well. And I just also noticed it has the extra This pocket. is a really, really great handy. purchase. Handy, it's yeah. very handy. Um, so somebody's asking regarding the sizing. Mm -hmm. um, this is a PM, so this is the PM size. It still fits any size laptop. It's going to fit books. It's going to fit whatever you need inside. Mm -hmm. And the canvas is really, really durable. It's designed to, you know, last you a lifetime and carry it as much as you need throughout the day. I am actually going to move on to a very similar bag, yes. um, known as the Neverfall, which yes. we have here behind us. Um, this is A W C. What a AWC two one zero zero. This is actually the PM Neverfall. So this is the mini, almost like the sm the smallest Neverfall of the Neverfall family. Um, this is crafted from the Damier. Can we see the sleeve? Yes, we can move on to the sleeve. Um, it's the Damier. Um, Print. canvas uh -huh. the damier print and actually the damier print came even before louis vuitton's monogram so this is kind of like the original louis vuitton print and also what is your favorite 
I, I'm a sucker for monograph. Yeah. I okay. am. I yeah. just love it. It's yeah. classic. See, I really love this. Do you? Yeah, I do. It's just slightly more understated, but it's like, if you know, you know. We can yeah. show the Fendi, yeah, of course. The so Selena and the Fendi will be coming up. Yeah. Um, this is the PM size. This does have some slight wear, but that has been factored into the price. Little bit of wear around the top handle. Actually, the top here, apart from a slightly dull finish to the leather, is in good condition. The interior reveals a dust bag and this actually is in a really nice condition to the inside you've got that flush of red pinstripe canvas to the interior an additional pocket to the back and corner wise corners are really nice and clean no significant wear or any like actual damage to the canvas which is ideal guys look at the price this is such an amazing price Another good thing about the Neverfull is actually the sides are designed to adjust slightly smaller. Yeah. So if you wanted to create a slightly boxier shape to your bag, yeah. you can just adjust it at the sides, which actually makes it feel a little bit more dressy and a bit more evening. I agree, actually. If you wanted to yeah. carry it throughout the evening and the daytime, you can just adjust it to a slightly smaller size, which actually looks really, really cute. Very cute. Um, this is £795. That is about the price of a wallet in store now. Um, and that's just over a thousand US dollars with customs duties um, covered today. It's a really, really great price. And the Neverfall is the ultimate classic Louis Vuitton bag up there with the Speedy and the Alma. It's going to hold its value. If yeah. not, you could probably get more money for this over the years because the price is obviously increased. And at 795, you're really at the lower end price point in resale for a Neverfall. So this is a really, really great option today. Um, and obviously we're here to talk about elevating your wardrobes we can elevate with colors but we can also elevate with classics as well and this is a perfect classic to have which will carry you through the years for sure yeah and i love it i think it's great i do i do and another thing just to add on to that i also just love that you don't have to be you can carry this at any age you can start yeah. off with your first designer bag at like a tender age right through your 20s your 30s you put even like my grandma would yeah, love this exactly and, and it's one of those pieces like if you know you know and it's just like it has no age limitations yeah. which is amazing i think that's a good thing about the st louis tote and the yeah. neverfall is they're both ageless and timeless Agreed. and anyone can carry them of any age so they're really really perfect classics yeah this is a goodie. This we had a request. Such a goodie. Yeah, this is a good one. This yeah. actually reminds me of you, to be honest. Does it? This is a bit of you, Grace. I yeah, can't lie. It is. This is. Um, we will show the Celine. Don't worry. Uh, we will do that one next as well. Uh, Rachel, this one is for you. A B C zero three six two, and this is known as the Zucca um, medium forget. So this one is a medium size, and as you can see, it is in brand oh, no, I agree, vision. by the way, this color on you is like the best color on you ever. It's, I, I didn't think, it's very bright. The way it's when a bright, so good. It's literally electric. I really like it. It's, it's actually so nice. current season, actually. It's from Zara, if it's anybody really wants nice. to know. Um, thank you, Garnet, always so kind to me. Now, this one is a beautiful, brand new piece. Now, look at this. Um, everyone's giving hearts. I. I love it as much as you guys love it too. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This one is uh, brand new. As you can see, it's got uh, the seal still on. Um, let's do a quick Wait interior. Wait see what it comes with as well. Yep. Yep. Is that? So it comes this with its unworn. strap. This is unworn. Unworn, seal still on the hardware. Yeah. It's crafted from that canvas that has been so famous in Fendi for years and it's just so timeless yeah. like i love a baguette so much i do too and they are they're again <laughs> one of those bags that you know it's appropriate for any age i think they're very comfortable bags to carry whether it's crossbody or um on the crook of your arm this one particularly comes with its um original strap as you can see and it's of course the zucker print as well and i think yeah with your outfit today Grace, yeah. i think it's really nice it it's one of those pieces that you can make look ladylike for more evenings but then you can make it look like really like street and cool i yeah. love your look today i think this would look really yeah. nice Gone with so your outfit. layered up guys because i am yeah. i am cold-blooded as it is like see it just looks automatically really nice and i know how much you are such a louis vuitton girl as well <laughs> so i love the fendi zuka logo and i know you love the louis vuitton I logo do. so for me the both logos from both brands yeah uh, they've done such an amazing job of designing something that is very understated even though it's logo like this will go with everything in your wardrobe and I, I don't know whether it's the color like to me you'd always think logos to be quite out there but actually this will just go with everything 
So I'm going to show you this as a crossbody. It is crossbody, um, NK, yes. So basically, you have the option to, to detach one of the straps. So you can wear it as a top handle, or you can attach the crossbody strap, which is actually a really nice, thick strap, which sits... Oh, this is so good. Look how nice that looks. So good. Oh, sits at a really nice height, actually. Yeah, it's around an 18-inch drop, so it sits nice and snug into the waist. I've still got lots of room, and guys, I, like I said, I'm layered up today, so it's yeah. a comfortable fit across the body. Price is amazing. Um, this is £2,400, and that's $3,050 US dollars. And it's a new, unused, with seal still on, Fendi baguette. Yeah. Obviously, we're here to talk about leveling up your um, handbag collection and talking about investment pieces. For me, the come up and the moment for the baguette bag was the Sex and the City series back in the 90s. Since then, the baguette has become an ultimate classic staple in any luxury handbag collection. If you want to build a collection of classics, you cannot say you have a classic collection without a Fendi baguette. I agree. There's always those star pieces from each brand, like Dior for me is the Dior Saddle and the Lady Dior. Fendi is the baguette bag. Like you Absolutely. have to have a baguette. They come in so many variations, sizes, colors, materials. Um, but if you want to get the ultimate classic, this is it right here. There's yeah. nothing more classic Fendi than the Zuka canvas. And it's also really durable, really wearable in all weathers. And it's so light as well. Yeah. And you can add a different strap if you wanted, like Kath saying, add some color, um, play around with it, mix the metals. Um, I will not be selling my love heart bag, no. <laughs> um, I actually sold all my Louis Vuitton. That was the only one I kept. And that will be something that I probably will never sell. So no, unfortunately, I can't sell it. <laughs> But I can try and find you another one. Um, also, diamond baguettes. Yeah, speaking of diamond baguettes, do we, have we do have a Diamante baguette. Oh, yeah, we do. Which I will pull out next. So we're going from kind of a classic staple baguette bag to something a little bit more dressy and sparkly, something that will have definitely be carried, have been carried by Carrie Bradshaw. I love Sex and the City. I'm like utterly obsessed with the whole series, all the films. And this is definitely something that she would be wearing in the in the movie. This is ALC 1065. This is a carried by Carrie, exactly, Rachel. This is um, like a champagne gold, um, not really a gold, more of like a pewter, pewter colored satin baguette bag with two amazing features. Not only do you have the mock croc um, leather in that beautiful kind of taupe color, you also have the gold hardware against this amazing kind of large Diamante Fendi Zuka detailing at the front. It's really, really sparkly and really special. This is definitely one for a special occasion. The top handle is also gator. I have a feeling this is, this is actually alligator rather than a, like a mock croc, but... I might have to double check the label. Um, inside, it's actually lined with like a gray satin, which is beautiful, really, really nice classic contrast. And just look at that detail into the pocket inside. You've got that beautiful croc leather. This condition is absolutely pristine, guys. You're not ready for the price of this. I priced this today under a thousand pounds. Wow. And I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> guys, I priced it under a thousand pounds. Condition is pristine. Like absolutely pristine. And if you want a special Fendi baguette, if you just want one special one, this is it for sure. Yeah. It's it's also sparkly as well, so you get that sparkle to it, but it's neutral, so it feels really classic. You can wear this to events, to uh, dinners, to weddings. It really is such yeah. a special, uh, such a special uh, baguette agree. to have. This would suit you. Yeah. This, yeah, it yeah. really would. It really would. <laughs> it this would. is typically the kind of things that I would carry for a wedding, yeah. an evening. Honestly, sits really comfortable. I'm wearing quite a thick knit today. Still uh, feels really comfortable. Very yeah. lightweight as well. And I just love the champagne colour as well. I think this is one of the best neutral colours to go with any outfit, whether you're wearing a black dress or a white dress or something yeah. even like fully printed. It will still it's just, just soft. go. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those neutral colours. I really love the like, as well. I, I really like, yeah, the Diamantes yeah. against the gold because yeah. that gives you the freedom to wear silver or gold jewellery. Exactly. Yeah. So don't be afraid to mix your metals. You're, you're a little mixer, aren't you? I am. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I am. I really like it. I, I'm really into the mixed look, to be honest. Yeah. And this complements both sides of the jewellery spectrum. I think it's gorgeous. So, yes. 
Okay, what are you going to go for next? I know somebody asked for the Celine actually, yes. didn't they? Which is here. How do you feel about Phoebe Philo's era at Celine? So, the, you know, this was the it bag at one stage. Like, so I, I was, was slightly it. too young. Really? For that era. Yeah. But. Yeah. I really appreciate this bag. Now, I wasn't quite old enough to be wearing luxury pieces yeah. when this was having its moment, but she recently has launched her own brand and she sold out straight away. And her prices were astronomical, by the way. Like her bags were like eight thousand wow. pounds. And she sold out. But honestly, for me, this I feel like this is going to have a moment again soon. I can't see why it wouldn't. I think it's just perfect. The color is amazing. Um, this is the this is the luggage, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is the luggage in a taupe color. Um, it's paired with like a dark grey hardware, and this is in absolutely pristine condition. This is under retail. It's a really really nice size. Great for travel, for work, for weekends away. Um, I love bags like this with just jeans and a tee, or jeans and a sweatshirt, or like a knit. I think it's a really easy piece the style i don't think you have to think too much about it i am a big but i'm a big bad girl through and through yeah um so i can really appreciate this one and i want to see it on you as well i see this is what i love about what what i love about me and you because we're yeah. like polar opposites but i, I know. really that like, i'm that the smaller the better yeah in terms of bag like the less that you can fit in i will have bags this big yeah so this is the thing i i was one of those girls when this was the it bag when all the celebrities in like my day were do like Rachel Zoe, she yeah. was like she's like my height, she would be carrying this and I'd be absolutely obsessed with it. So I did have this almost on my wish list, but I didn't actually quite go through with it. But yeah. this is something that I completely appreciate. Again, I've seen people carrying it at the airport, yeah. that kind of thing. And I think it's such a practical piece. It is. And it does make it a little bit different to like the Saint Louis or like the never force although they carry its own value it feels a little bit more elevated I, agree. And I think it's the structure and the detailing to the front yeah if you want an easy grab and go throw in and out bag but you want to feel elegant and a little yeah. bit more dressed up I think this is a great one to go for yeah I agree question and actually the condition I know Sam says sorry you're so tiny little bags that call on you <laughs> she is so tiny I really am. we were we were laughing before the show I, I not that I was wearing heels but I took my <laughs> shoes off just to have like less just of an like inch just like a dot short <laughs> and I feel I'm like, like I'm bending down I'm like Grace that dot of difference is going to make a difference so please remove the shoes <laughs> I love these questions. Yeah, guys, honestly, I love it when you guys send us questions. We've got um, N asking, what's your favorite bag trend for spring? Oh, interesting. Uh, trend, I mean, the bag that I want, which is on my next wish list, is not so much a trend, but my eyes are on, I want to get a Picatinny. That's yeah, my next one. Okay. Yeah, I either I want that. it, I really, really, really want it in either a Vert Comet, Gorgeous, which is that bright. stunning, mass, like, green which i want i'm getting hearts i hope you guys love that bag too yeah or i want it in the blue pale which yeah. is like the complete polar opposite of the spectrum and i want to put a bright rodeo i love it i just want it it's my dream i really want it so i love that what about you what's on your wish list um i think this year it's going to be about the city tote bags oh nice yeah i've been seeing a lot of city tote bags on like pinterest TikTok, I think the Gen Z girlies are gonna all be all want yeah. the, the city tote bags you're, this year. You're you're interested in my one, aren't you? I am, yeah. Because <laughs> my sister, my sister actually, I hope she's not listening on the show. Um, my sister's sixteen next week, and she's yeah. like, I really want the Balenciaga oh. bag. I'm like, I can make that happen for you. We'll I always we'll buy her bags. Yeah. I always buy her bags every year, but oh, this is the so first nice. time that she actually had yeah. a big interest. She's like. I really want this. What is this bag? But she didn't have a clue what it was. I'm like, oh, you've got good taste. She does have um, good taste. Another thing I think this year is going to be all about the doubly suede in Hermes. So oh, we're yeah. going from like kind of one end of the spectrum. We're going for like that, you know, lower price point with Balenciaga. But it's going to be all about the suede with Hermes this year. Yeah. So if you guys are uh, VIPs at Hermes or you've got a good essay, get onto the suede yeah. because they're going to be selling for huge premiums this yeah. year, I'm telling you. It's going to be all about the suede. Yeah. And we're already seeing it, to be honest. Yeah. It's already happening. It is. Yeah. It is. So... 
this particular piece, just a quick, we're getting so many hearts. I know, I love sprays. it. It's Hi so everyone. lovely. <laughs> um, so yes, the condition report on this one, honestly, there's nothing to report. Um, of course it is uh, pre-owned. However, I think the previous seller, it's like pristine. I don't think that they even used it genuinely. The corners are crisp. Have a look at that. There's literally nothing to report. Bearing in mind, this is a lighter toned bag. So anything would usually show up and I'm putting it in front of a ring light. So anything will be elevated a little bit more and there's nothing to report. I would seriously mark this as very yeah. good condition, if not untouched. Yeah, um, this is up for £1,495. That's 1,900 US dollars. We'll give yeah. you a quick flash of the interior. Yeah. I have to say, what adding on that um, kind of predictions for 2024, I think any any one of you who have sold your luggage is going to regret it over the next few months as well. I think you're all going to be wanting the lug the luggage at some point this year. I don't know what it is. I just think that this is going to have a moment at some point. So it's probably best to try and grab it now. Yeah. And then <laughs> I agree. Stay ahead. Stay ahead. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. So, uh, moving on to some smaller pieces. Yeah. So, anyone who's interested in a little small pieces. I, this this colour. This colour is so good. I love this. Now, I showed this over the weekend, Grace, and great. I'm still... It confuses me because the price is it's insane. So good. And it's... It's the, the color is amazing. It's Bottega. It's in fantastic condition. Now I don't understand why nobody is taking this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll show the maxi after. I'm actually really excited because we've got the maxi in lambskin, and we've got it in caviar. So we I'm do. Really, really excited about. So these. we'll show both yeah. of them next, no problem. So Rachel, this one is for you. Um, ALC one zero six eight. ALC one zero six eight. Now. This one is known as the Bottega, and it's almost, it's known as like a pistachio color, but I would say it's a pistachio lime. Yeah. It's just, it's just I so it. me, honestly. I love it with this color, by the way. Yeah, I think, honestly, even if you're just wearing jeans and a t-shirt, this is all you need. Yeah. Honestly, you don't, it doesn't need any styling, just white on white or black on black, any color. It is beautiful. It just makes any boring outfit just pop. It's comfortable. Um, it's lightweight. It comes with its own original dust bag as well. Um, just a report, very little. Uh, bit of, I would call it like a color transfer, just very little. It looks like a, just a bit of a scuff. Yeah, little little scuff, but... It honestly, genuinely just blends all in. And that's the nice thing about the bag as well. So the way that the, um, the Craftsman has, of course, um, this the bag has been made, any sort of like little uh, sign of use will genuinely just be uh, blended into the bag. Now, on the inside, it is suede and it's very clean, as you can see. Now, this one is also something that you can play around with. I don't know if you know this, Grace, but look, you can actually remove this and make it more into a wristlet. Oh, I love that. And right? that, again, transforms it from something slightly casual to, really to fun. an evening kind of clutch wristlet. Yeah. Got it. My, my sweater's actually for sale. We'll get it pinned in a yeah. second. It's actually a Dior sweater. I'm just yeah. so cold. So we've, we've, we've styled. I've also got a Chanel top underneath that's for sale as well. <laughs> so I will get everything pinned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And this one, honestly... I cannot get over this price. This is what I was that saying. That is ridiculous. Why is this honestly, still available? I It shocks me. That is literally this is less than a wallet in store right now. Crazy. And the colour is so amazing. I know it's cold, it's rainy, it's miserable outside. This, come spring, you guys are all going to go, I wish I bought that bag back in January. Yeah. <laughs> This is the it color. Honestly, this is the it color. Like, yeah. I am a sucker for this type of color. Um, the brighter, the better. Honestly, this one is beautiful. And also, you can wear it on the crook of your arm. You can wear it on your shoulder. You can wear it on a wristlet. So many ways to style this. And also, just by in, in, in the evening, just like that. Yeah. Very, very elegant to kind of carry it like that. 350 that, pounds. Can you believe? <gasps> That's insane. 350 pounds, that's 444 US dollars. For those of you on Instagram, make sure to head over to the website, luxurypromise.com, as we cannot see your comments if you are asking us questions via Instagram. 
We are half an hour in. We've got yeah. some amazing pieces today. We are here to elevate your wardrobe collection. And next up, we are going to move on to a holy grail for me. Do it. And it's a full set as well. So this is a really, really special bag to have today. Um, this is ALC0881. Sammy, I look so chic right now walking out of the office. Oh, it is. Sammy cold. always looks so elegant. I love it. She's you like in her fur and her Birkin. Gorgeous. Yeah. Have a nice evening. Um, um, you have this in brown, right? I do, yeah. Because I saw your, I think you did a get ready with me. Which I did. I, by the way, can I just say I love your TikTok? Thank you so Always much. Always appreciate your TikTok. <laughs> she did a get ready with me and I saw her brown one. So, so Just casually picked up the brown. And it's stunning on her. It so suits you. I do have this bag, which is why I'm going to stand here and tell every one of you to get this bag. I like I, I'm I've always been a big bag girl um, and this for me was one of my best purchases this is a lambskin 24 karat gold gilded hardware jumbo CC this is from the 90s this right here is the epitome of Chanel 90s um, that big CC logo was designed by Karl Lagerfeld um, it's got this chunky gold chain which is actually wrapped this will come with it by the way I don't have one of these this is actually really nice and it's handy it's so cute it's like a chain wrap or a chain protector that says Chanel on it so that will come with the bag um, I'm gonna show you all the ways you can wear this in a second but I'll talk you guys through the exterior condition first look at this leather now obviously this is 90s so the leather naturally will have uh, like a slightly worn look you I, I mean I've almost never seen one of these untouched but that's the beauty of it this is your med school this is your med school Chanel garnet a hundred percent um, I honestly love this bag so, so, so much. And I can say that with such confidence because I have it myself. Um, there's minimal tarnishing to the gold. There's like literally minimal scuffing, scratching. Look at that soft buttery leather. It's so beautiful. This is called a matelace stitch. So it has like a diamond quilting throughout. Very classic for Chanel. The base is in amazing condition and as are the corners. Garnet, or oh, anybody thinking about this bag, I would consider this as an A1 um, condition considering the age of the bag. We'll move on to the inside. Oh my God, it comes with a pillow as well. How cute. Guys, I'm gonna make sure all of this is included. Um, you've got a bag insert, you've got, oh my gosh. It comes with everything. Guys, you've got a bag pillow and you've got a bag insert as well, which is gonna protect the leather. Guys, it is pins. So if someone wants to grab it whilst I'm talking about it. Inside is in that beautiful burgundy lambskin color, which is actually the color that Coco Chanel wore at her orphanage as a kid. So she actually picked that color for the bag. Um, it's a two series. So this is a 1991 to 1993. So it is like right at the start of the 90s. Now, one thing you can do about this bag, uh, with this bag, sorry, I just dropped that. That's all right. Get it. Oh, oh no, it's got to do look at this little detail i know it's even like this heart. is so nice so cute honestly so nice i'll put it up here so a lot of the time with the jumbos uh the modern jumbos the chain is so long even on me i'm i'm nearly six foot i'm 5 11 it literally hits me pretty much on my thigh this one the chain is slightly more sturdy so you can wear it just classic over the shoulder i actually tend to like tuck it round and just flick it at the back and wear it like this Another way that you can wear it is actually through the underneath, pull the middle chain, uh, the kind of middle chain slightly shorter, close the bag and lock it tight. And then you've created like a little top handle and it will Love hold that. it. And you can wear it either with the chain at the back. I actually just thread the chain over the front because I like layering with bags. That also allows you to throw it under the arm and have a chain hanging. And then that also allows you to wear it as a crossbody, but with a slightly shorter drop. So you can like really, really adjust it. Yeah. And, and wear it stays it, as well, which is it really stays. good. It will stay. Um, the chain is like quite snug, so it won't move. It comes with its box. Box, it, box itself is like excellent condition. Um, come to the box, you'll obviously get your authenticity card. And let's double check if it comes with... This is the bag, Garnet. Don't even, don't even th think on this one. At that price, I'm telling you, this is it. Um, does it come with a card? Not that the card makes much difference for me, to be honest. I don't think... Oh, it does. It's a full set. It's a full, full set. Garnet, you're not going to get much better than this, I'm telling you. Comes with its original card, box, 
dust bag. You're going to get a bag insert. You're going to get a chain wrap of this and you're going to get a pillow for when you're not wearing it. This is at £4,995. That is US$6,350. We're going to cover your customs and your duties. We ship globally. For me, this is the star of the day. And at that price, it's amazing, honestly. Um, yeah, we can put it on Sarah as well. Yeah, of course. I'll let you like play around with it however you'd want to wear it. Now this for me is of course a larger bag, but I always appreciate these. Yeah. Um, I would probably wear it. Just doubled. Yeah, I would wear it doubled. So you're gonna wanna go, uh, yeah, that's the longer one. It's so easy to adjust. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably wear it just the traditional way. Okay. Which is just on my shoulder. Oh, I love it. See, it suits even though it's, you. It yeah, suits even you. if it's big, honestly, this is the size that I would carry, whether it's for travel or whether it's just doing um, like my usual stuff that I get up to around London, that kind of thing. I think it's, although it is, it looks like it's big on me, I would, this is the size that I would carry. I absolutely love it. And I think, you know, even though I'm sort of, sort of like notoriously known to carry small bags, I always do appreciate uh, a larger bag and I do actually own large bags as well yeah, and this, you do. yeah I, I genuinely do um and having a jumbo is in my collection not quite so like this one but I do actually have a jumbo and I love it carry it all the time yeah and I have to say as well even like on Sarah the whole kind of vibe of the maxi is it's supposed to be big it's supposed yeah. to look you know that big cc it's supposed to be a statement also as well like victoria beckham she has several of these yeah she does and she literally like hers is like battered and she like clutches it yeah you see her like grabbing it with her nails in it like she throws the bag around it's just one of those bags that is just so so cool it really and is. like if you honestly if i saw someone walking down the street wearing it I'd, I'd probably have to stop you and be like, I love your bag. Like, yeah. It's just one of those bags when you see it. It's a you conversation just can't, starter. Exactly. Sure. You just can't help but appreciate yeah. it. Guys, under 5,000 on that one. It's a full set, 4995. That one I have to see go today. Yeah. Honestly, to. this is the one. And it's a full set. So it's a really, really, guys, we're here to elevate our wardrobes. And this is the key today, trust me. I agree. Um, what's the difference between this bag and the other large Chanel's? on the shelf so, so yeah. i'm gonna show you guys the next one um jazz how are you no worries it's a two series so it's 1991 to 1993 um it comes with its box it comes with a pillow it comes with an insert um authenticity card serial codes intact and i'd give it a very good condition so it's really really such a good one um we were actually selling them for way more as well like I think a year or two ago, they were going for around 5,500 to 6,000. So, I actually remember that. Yeah, it's in the a other really... store as well, because we had a few more, and they would be a lot more. And they were there. flying off the shelf. Yeah. And this is the first one we've had in a while as well, so I love it. I'm, I'm really, <laughs> whoever gets this, I'm like really excited yeah. for. Um, if you guys want something a little bit sturdier, this is actually the 90s jumbo, so it is slightly different in size. Can you see I that? It's smaller, isn't it's it? It's It's like literally an inch smaller, if yeah. that. Um, this one is AGC one four seven seven. This is in caviar leather, so this is a grained, slightly more durable leather. Um, this can be worn every day, and if you are slightly more heavy-handed or you want something just to kind of chuck on this would be a better alternative to the lambskin. I say that though, guys, I'm not careful with my bags. Like, did you see my TikTok where I was riding on a line bike and my Birkin was in the basket? Oh my God, I did see that, <laughs> yeah. But I'm not careful with my bags. I buy my bags to wear them. By the way, you're like me. That's exactly, I'm not careful with them because again, I, I don't, they're mine. Yeah. I, I'll do whatever I like with yeah, them. Exactly. I do try, obviously I treat them with a lot of respect, but I'm not one of those people that are, like, yeah. oh my god it's got a little scuff i'm gonna cry no no, no not at at all. All. but that's why i, I like to buy uh pre-owned as well yeah. because like if i like for example the birkin i got from store i was always terrified to wear it. i'd literally carry it like this whereas <laughs> the birkin i bought from yen in singapore it's just like i'm like just throwing whatever yeah. i want in it it just really depends um then he said the tallest and most petite lp members i this know is. it literally is a uh, little and large <laughs> um 
I want this better, but my budget won't be ready until Friday. Of course, yeah, Garnett, send me a message and we'll stay in touch until Friday. Yeah. Um, Vicky's asking 9 or 8 out of 10. I would give it an 8.5 just because it's vintage, but there's, a, there's no scuffing to the corners. The leather is still puffy and shiny. I'd give it an 8.5. Yeah. I can't give it a 9 because, it, like I said, it's 91 vintage. This one here... I mean, you guys can see the puffiness of the leather already. Yeah, honestly, like, look at this, just um, to, like, sort of, like... Yeah. There's a, it's puffy. It, there's no flatness to it at all. There's no tarnish to the gold. Um, you've got that big CC logo turn lock. What is the size of the Chanel bag? This is a, ma this is a jumbo, and that one is a maxi. So, slight difference in, in size. An inch, if that. This is also a full set, by the way. Do we have more LV? I don't think so. Oh, we do. We do. We've got a really nice classic, actually. Yeah, we'll do the Louis Vuitton next for you, um, Sarah. So this one is black lined interior, black leather. This is a three series, so 1994 to 1996. Comes with a card and also comes with a box. So this is a full set. I'd give this, like, excellent condition. You've got a little bit of rubbing to the corners at the very, very most, but honestly... Like, this is an excellent condition bag, and that price is really, really fair for the rarity of this. This is this is gold dust in the Chanel world. Yeah. Uh, Mid-90s caviar, firstly, is, like, so hard to get, and then you get that big CC logo with the 24 karat gold. Price is really fair, £6,900. That's 8770 US dollars. Um, slightly different look, actually. Like the caviar for me feel it looks more current, but obviously if you know your Chanel, you know by that CC logo yeah. that this is like the middle of vintage. Which one do you prefer? I think I like the maxi on you, Grace. Oh, oh, this, this, yeah, yeah, this like all all yes. day long. Um, I think it, that really suits you. I'm not, I'm not a Chanel girl. I'm just not. Really? Like I'm really not. Yeah. No, like I have Chanel bags that I use all the time, but like I love Hermes and I love Bottega. They're, they're my two brands yeah. in terms of like the colors and the leathers and the suede that you can get. I love how Bottega is so um, like, I don't want to say, um, what's the word? It's not understated because it's like the colors in the pot, but there's no logo. Yeah. But Chanel for me, vintage Chanel 90s, 1994 to six, like the two to three series, yeah. is like the ultimate Chanel for me. And hence why I love this so much because yeah. it's so special. Like I said, I do have that in my collection and I would I would never sell that. I just could not, I could yeah. never sell it. Um, the price, how come the prices have gone down on the maxi? So Linda, at the moment, we're seeing a slight drop in prices across um, the market. Now this is happening not only in bags, but this is happening in property, in watches, in, you know, it, it, just the economy in general is down right now. Obviously Chanel is due for another price increase. And I would assume that that is gonna have a effect in, hi, hi Sabrina, this was yours. Um, I, th I would assume that's going to have an effect in resale. Right now is a really, really great time to buy. And, you know, every market fluctuates. Right now it's, it's slightly lower and it will go up. We don't know when. Lots of um, things factor in to, you know, for that to happen. But right now is a really great time to be buying if you're in the position to do so. But this is £6,900. Sabrina, this is such a cool bag. You know mm. how much I love these. This uh, caviar and vintage XRCC. I know, Melissa. Melissa, Mel if anyone knows, Melissa knows. Melissa's jewellery collection and bag collection. She's a lover of vintage Chanel and she knows this is a really, really special bag. And I want to see this on you because obviously yeah. it's slightly smaller. Did we sell a bag, Rachel? Did we sell a bag? <laughs> Buy low, sell high. Exactly, Lily. I actually really like the jumbo size, to be honest. So do I. I have a jumbo. Do you? Yeah. What colour? Black, like the yeah. traditional black. Um, I've actually got it in lambskin leather with gold, so. And it's one of my most used bags. I don't use it as much now, but when I first bought it, honestly, throughout university, throughout my 20s, I was carrying it. It was like my most used bag. Uh, Amy, thank you for inquiring regarding a, um, yeah, we can tilt the camera, sorry. We're trying, <laughs> to, we're trying to get the right angle where I don't look like an absolute giant. <laughs> 
Um, I, Amy, right now we aren't offering um, we aren't offering swaps on bags that we're featuring on live shows. However, you're welcome to make an appointment and come in and bring the items you'd like to swap, and then we can actually um, issue you a gift card like exchange store credit a lot quicker but you will need to make an appointment and come in um, we can only reserve an item once we have your items with us physically so the quicker you can come by the quicker we can obviously get the exchange going yeah um lily can you see hope you guys can see and i actually really like the length because honestly when you're like having to go into the bag it's the perfect sort of length it's like yeah you know it gives you a complete sort of like for me anyway for my size it's literally like the perfect sort of size to get into the bag as well of course okay are we moving on yeah i want to get this jacket pin but i'll let you do one yeah. more one more bag um someone wanted to see louis vuitton we've got two more pieces left but again let's um try and break it up and show like a large bag yeah. mixed in with a small bag now obviously this is this goes again, so well with what, what i know wear. this is honestly a bit of me i absolutely love this one this one is the Louis Vuitton Marikami edition. It's the multicolor, as you can see with the studded detailing. Honestly, Grace, I don't know why I don't have this. I had it. And do you did know, you? Do you know what I did? I sold it for 450. Oh my God. Like right at the start of my did career you with Luxury Promise, I had the black one. And oh, I, I don't know black. why I sold it. I think maybe I was like putting it to, I always, I, I always like one in, one out. Yeah. So I would have put it towards something else. It's one of my bags that I wish I never sold, honestly, yeah. genuinely, because now I just can't get it for the same price. Honestly, honestly, they, well, firstly, these are bags that you can no longer find in store. So you can only find it on the resale, um, the vintage market, uh, uh, the pre-owned market. Sam, I would love to help you with your request, um, looking for an Ardennes Kelly. So if you could send me an email to grace at luxurypromise.com, I would love to help you with that. And Sabrina's saying news just in, the price of a small classic flap is nine thousand four hundred pounds now for wow that's more than a birkin it's just too much it's just like who's paying that kind of money these days it's just ex so expensive uh sarah what would be a go-to for louis vuitton okay i would say i have a bag that i would personally recommend this is this is like a collector's Louis Vuitton piece. Yes, yeah, more of a fun piece. Yeah, whereas if you're looking for your first Louis Vuitton, I would go for a classic. I yeah. would go for maybe a Speedy. Speedy's a good one. Or the Neverfull. Yeah. I actually, this is my favourite Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah, classic. We'll, we'll show that next yeah. as well. I do have one that you might like. So we'll move on to that soon. Yeah. But yeah, my first ever Louis Vuitton bag, and this was actually my first ever bag, I bought, and I think I was like 16 at the time, I got um, a Speedy 30. Did you? And it was like the, the perfect, best. The, the best. And honestly, I still have it. It's just something that I'll just keep. I'll just never sell it because it's just still available now. Um, I think I bought it for, so, I think I bought it for like 350 pounds. Can you That's imagine? Nuts. 350 pounds. You can't even get like, like, that's like Nothing. a Marge That's a jumper. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's a perfume. It's literally a Louis Vuitton a, perfume now. Yeah, oh my, my, first, my first designer bag was Louis Vuitton as well. Mine was, was a backpack. Oh, how cute. Yeah, and I loved it so much. Really cute. Yeah. So yeah, so this one is more for uh, those that are um, happy to sort of like experiment with their fashion, um, who aren't afraid of colour, who aren't afraid of sort of like making things look very, very trendy. These are, again... Um, not, have you seen the price of this, by the way? No, I haven't. It's actually silly. What Six is it? Nine. Can you not read that? No, I can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> 695. Can you not read the so, comments? You know, 695. Again, that is just so low grade. What? Like, honestly, it's just, you know, the, the, the thing is with these, like, how much are the, just the monogram pochettes now? I think they're closer to a thousand now. That's what I mean. And this one is the multicolor. And this is the thing is you can't even get this anymore. So this one is, of course, like I said, it's the classic monogram, the Marikami edition. This one is finished with the stud detailing. It, of course, has some wear. As you can see, this has been used. Um, a little bit of like, I guess you want to call them... It's called a patina. Yeah. So the leather darkens naturally. Yeah. Louis Vuitton's leather is, has a natural patina. It's called Vachetta leather. Yeah. And it's actually designed to darken with contact to skin, oils, sunlight, and water. And I have to say, when you first buy a Louis Vuitton, 
it's so light it looks like the palest light color and i actually prefer it when it goes darker and i yeah. like the fact that a bag ages with you over time as yeah. well this has a darker patina to the top handle yeah. um i would say if you took it to louis vuitton they could probably replace it but i personally wouldn't i don't mind that it's designed to darken so it really depends what your pers uh, you know your personal preference is yeah i honestly i I love this and this with my outfit today. Yeah, it's literally perfect. This is exactly how I would wear it. Honestly, this one, um, you can fit a lot of things. Um, your your daily sort of essentials, it fits the Max iPhone as well as lots of like makeup, keys, cards, whatever, all the essentials that you need. So. Oh, Vicky, I'm excited for you. Vicky's getting the Maxi. I'm so excited for you, Vicky. Honestly, that you couldn't pick a more perfect bag. That, um, this you're gonna one. get that one? Yeah. It's, it's, so the, it's good. the most perfect bag and it comes with all the extras that we yes. don't see often either. No. And that's obviously, uh, it's like added things that, you know, it saves you from buying off like Amazon or some of these uh, websites. So yeah, you get that too. And Sarah, I saw that you're looking for a Louis Vuitton that's good for every day and I have just the bag for you. So Let's show I'll that bring next. that out to you shortly. This is £695. That's $883. US dollars. This is from the Murakami collection launched in 2003 and four. You could not buy this in store this no. is a limited edition piece one of the most iconic artist collaborations not only just for louis vuitton but for all time in in luxury and this is a true investment piece this yeah. will go up every single year despite any price increases this becomes rarer and rarer as the years go on and um, this is officially classed as vintage now that it's over 20 years yeah. as well um i'm going to quickly show vicky the bag yep yeah. and then i'm going to show sarah the louis vuitton Perfect. and then we'll move on to some other pieces so I'm going to show you. Um, I'm the same as you, Grace. The more character comes in. Yeah, I agree, RB. I, I just, like, when I go into Louis Vuitton now, don't get me wrong, I, I'm not, like, I, I love Louis Vuitton, but the colour is, like, it doesn't even go nice with my skin tone. The it's white. It's it's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. It I, really like, is. I, I genuinely, if I were to buy a bag from Louis Vuitton, I'd probably leave it in the sun on purpose, yeah. just so it darkens. Like, it doesn't go with my skin tone. It feels like, I feel like it washes me out. So I, I'm all for Louis Vuitton vintage. Um, this is the leather, Vicky. I'll do a nice slow pan of it. There's actually no tarnishing to the gold. It's so beautiful. Um, the corners are immaculate, as is the bottom. Usually you'd see, you know, scratch, even a hairline scratch to the bottom. You, you actually don't even have that. This is going to be one of the best condition ones that you'll come across, Vicky. And at that price, the fact that you're getting a full set, I'm really, really excited for you. It's so gorgeous um, I'll show you the kind of hardware details at the top there's no tarnishing there's no cracking to the leather it's still soft and supple and you really are getting the star piece of today in my opinion there's one more bag that I'm loving as well this one by the way oh yeah so we'll bring that down soon <laughs> yeah it's it's like the weirdest color Linda but I'm just glad that it darkens <laughs> Um, okay, for, so for Sarah, I really love this bag for an everyday. Now, it, it really depends on your style. I want to pad it out because it looks a little bit. This one's a good one, I think, if you're, if you're, if you're not really into Louis Vuitton and you're sort of like new and you're starting to um, build up your collection and you wanted something that's a bit more easygoing, yeah. I think this is the one. Yeah, so this is um, AGC1599. This is called the Artsy Bag, and I would buy an Artsy over a Neverfull. And the reason why, I actually prefer the slouchiness of an Artsy over the kind of shape of a Neverfull. This will fit everything you need throughout the day. It's going to fit a, like, an, a laptop or an iPad. The Artsy Bag is a classic. It feel, it's no jewellery today, Gladys. It's all, um, it's all bags today. We've got a couple other little bits coming up. So the previous owner of this bag actually had the whole... This is funny because you can actually see the colour. Yeah. The whole top layer of the bag was repaired directly with Louis Vuitton. This comes full set, by the way. So this is like full, full set artsy. They actually replaced the stitching at the top. She had it repaired. Um, and you can actually see where they repaired it because it's it's that color that you see in the stores whereas the top panel has gone slightly darker the colors will kind of darken together over time um the canvas is in like pristine condition and actually again over time it will slouch and soften um and give a slightly more of like a softer look honestly the way that it sits under the arm is so comfortable i love the kind of plat detail on the top handle and linda's saying this is so comfortable to wear it really really is the yeah. handle is like 
cushioned and padded. Um, it comes with a keychain, so you can attach your keys onto it and find them nice and easily. Um, it's got multiple compartments to the inside. You don't have to carry a wallet. You've got enough pockets to the inside for your cards and keys, that kind of thing. Um, and again, just over the shoulder. Again, I'm wearing a really thick sweater. Yeah. It fits perfectly. So if you're in the office, I'd assume you're wearing maybe a blazer or you know slightly smarter attire, and it absolutely will fit over anything you're wearing. Condition I would rate is excellent, and it's £1,250 under retail, and that's US dollars And I would highly recommend this for an everyday yeah. just grab and go bag, to be honest. And also just like your typical things as like, um, like a mom bag or yeah. like even like just travel that kind of thing yeah I love seeing monogram when I'm at the airport I just yeah. think it just immediately it just makes me so interested yeah in someone's style immediately but this is what it looks like on me yes love it's it. a large bag but I absolutely love it this is something that I would also carry for travel yeah and again you're absolutely right it fits really so comfortably comfy. it feels really nice and this is honestly my favorite part about the bag I love this plateaued detail I think it just looks really chic it makes it look a little bit dressy which is really it does nice. yeah this feels uh, smart to me it does yeah it does um yeah yeah sarah i can show you the neverfall so the neverfall is slightly smaller this is the pm now obviously sarah i don't know if you're carrying a laptop or anything around with you um this is a um, neverfall in the pm size the smallest it will fit a small like tablet on iPad. It won't quite fit a full MacBook inside. This is in a slightly different canvas. This is in the Damier. Um, this has a little bit of wear around the edges. So you've got some kind of scuffing to the top uh, part and also to the uh, to the leather on the strap. But the bag is actually designed, I think the medium Neverfall is designed to carry 200 pounds of weight. Oh wow! Which is a which is a lot, a lot. of weight. Like it's a lot of weight, um, and it, it's designed to literally last you a lifetime and carry that amount of weight. So the handles are really really sturdy. Um, the general condition of the base and the corners is excellent on this. It's just a little bit of wear around the top part. The inside of this one has the contrasting red pinstripe canvas, and the inside is nice and clean. This one does go over the shoulder. It's got a slightly smaller strap but it does fit yeah and uh, it's actually really cute it is so cute isn't it, it it's is. really cute oh it looks nice when you hold it on your hand as well yeah no i really like it i think it looks really nice and it's so light honestly it's literally as light as a feather so that was the never fall and that is all of the louis vuittons that we have today sarah but if you're not 100 percent on any of them and you need any further advice you're welcome to email me, grace at luxurypromise.com. And once I'm back in the office tomorrow, I will um, send over some more options and we can chat chat further if today isn't your day to buy either one of these. Um, never feel so much stronger. Uh, yeah, I can show you. Yeah, the Louis Vuitton Neverfall is so resilient. So the scuff is just here on the edge and on the other side as well just a little scuff this can be very easily fixed by the way at louis vuitton as you saw they replaced the whole top yeah. part of the other one so yeah it can can be fixed but to be honest i wouldn't i would still give this very good condition yeah. rating like it's it's not in not in bad condition at all it's just this bit of the handle here that has almost a little bit of like discoloration that's not even wear but also make sure to check out the images underneath the listing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you have any other questions. Okay. Your turn. Right. Should we move on to a little bit of shoes? Yeah, let's have a shoe yeah. break. <laughs> let's do it because... Um, I love these. Yeah, these are cute. These are cute. They're not my size, unfortunately, but they're very cute. Um, this they one are is mine, for though. you. Oh, are they? <laughs> um, this one is for you, uh, Rachel ASL... Uh, is that a nine? Nine, two. nine two one six. By the way, so, I'm really like, I didn't realise how blind you were. I really am. It's you a running glasses. joke. I do. I really do. So um, obviously today is elevating uh, your wardrobe and your handbag collection. We have included a couple of pairs of shoes. The reason being, these just go with everything. They do. And Sarah loves them, so we wanted to show you guys them. Yeah, they're, they're so just nice. classic. Yeah, super ladylike. Look at these. They're just your classic Valentino, almost like a a, a slip-on shoe, I guess you call yeah. it. Um, finished with the rock studs. Absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful um, crafted with um, of course the black leather and the champagne gold studding detailing as well it just kind of makes sort of any dress you could just be wearing just a plain black dress and it yeah. kind of gives it that glam immediately and I th just think it's a really lovely shoe to be honest I think um, everybody needs of course it's like that little black dress is just like an essential and necessary in everyone's wardrobe and I just feel like having just a nice black shoe is also just as important and this one with of course the uh, the detailing you would be immediately anyone who knows fashion would be like you yeah. walk in and be like love well, her rock it. studs yeah, yeah. <laughs> love her rock studs she's cool i want to be her friend immediately yeah so these are i actually really nice. love the the shoe itself is very elegant yeah but the yeah. rock stud adds that kind of trendy funky style so yeah. i really love the combination of the elegance and i agree the, the studding so nice yeah so these ones are actually brand new unworn it is a full set comes with its complete dust bag untouched absolutely everything they are actually in a size 39 so anyone who's in a size 39 these ones can be yours and I actually have another lovely color as well. Now, um, just I will wait for the price. They're so nice. Yeah, they are. They are. We'll just wait for the price, but I'll let Grace show the other color. Are they in 39 as well? They're 39 as well. Look wow. at these. Guys, you'll probably get two for the price of like Literally. retail today. Yeah. They are 540 pounds. And that is um, 686 yeah. US dollars. And um, Linda's just advising Sarah regarding repairs for Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Um, she's saying probably two to 300 pounds. And Sarah, I have to say, if you're sp spending um, the price of the bag plus the price of the repair, you're still looking at under retail on that piece as yeah. well. But if I'm honest, remember we're standing in a really, really harsh light. So actually, I think once you receive the bag, I don't yeah. feel like you'll feel the need to have it repaired. I don't if think I'm honest. so. And if yeah. you were to, because the rest of the bag is just in excellent condition, it would be a brand new piece. Yeah. Genuinely, no yeah. one would ever think that it would be pre-owned. We'll get the black, uh, the white ones pinned. Yeah. ASL nine two one five. Um, these are like a like an off-white cream. We do personal shopping, Gladys. Yes, we actually have. A personal shopper here her name's Lisa she is amazing um, I also do have a private number that you guys can contact me on whenever you want um, if you guys want any of that information just send me an email to grace at luxurypromise.com I'll give you my number and I'll also give you Lisa's and we yeah we're we love personal shopping here at luxury promise yeah. um yeah Lisa's amazing as well <laughs> I think she's still here. Actually. Yeah, she is. I can hear. Yeah, she's here. <laughs> I can hear footsteps. She's okay. walking, <laughs> walking behind us. Um, I assume these are going to be. I think I'm going to get it, Sarah. I think you should get it. I think honestly, I think once you receive it, you won't feel the need to have it repaired. And Gladys, I'm really sorry. They're like four sizes too big for you, so I don't think they're going to work for you today. If anyone's my size, a 39. Yeah. Grab these. These are so elegant. They oh my are. gosh. And you know what? I like that it's got a comfortable heel yeah. as well. Because there's nothing worse than you you invest into shoes and it's got the big heel and then it, they're not even comfortable. Yeah, this you could wear in the daytime with yeah. jeans for a nice lunch. Exactly. Or like with dresses. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is definitely a nice heel height. I'm so daring with my heels. Uh, you are. We tried to sell one of your, I think. My brothers. Yeah. Grace, when I say they would like, yeah, like that, I love the heel. platform was like that. And we were like, she must be like seven foot. Like, we and Sabrina were like, she must be seven foot. It would be two of me. Yeah, I <laughs> love, honestly, I love a big heel. Like, oh. I will wear a six inch heel and walk in a room and be six foot four, taller than everyone. That would be amazing. I need to see you in those shoes. I actually want to see you. Yeah. We well, need to take a photo in front of the uh, mirror. Joanna's wedding. Yeah, where then? <laughs> oh, I will, I plan on. Um, okay, I'm going to get this jacket pin. We're going to do a little yes. clothing interval. I do also have a Chanel top underneath that I want to show. So we'll start with the top. I'm going to freeze. I know, it um, is God. So, I have to get this pin because it's so nice. Let me get the skew. Do you want me to see? ALC. Okay, so we're going to look at ALC 1032. Um, this is uh, just a quick kind of interval ready to wear that I'm wearing today. This is a classic vintage ribbed Chanel t-shirt. Um, I love the Chanel ribbed uh, material. It's honestly, let's say we, she said, uh, you look like Courtney and Kendall. We always joke about this. This is what, this is what she said just before the show. It's like we're taking over, like we promise. It's, Court, it's Courtney and Kendall. <laughs> 
um, yeah, Linda. Linda says she's five eleven and never bothered about um, never never bothered about any heel height. I'll wear any heel height. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is the Chanel Vintage Ribbed. It's cream and beige. CC logo to one side. And this will go up to a UK. I'd say probably a UK 10 to 12. It's really yeah. stretchy. I wear a UK 8, which is a US 4. So I would say this is going to go up to a US 10. Um, it's excellent condition. Not US 10, sorry. US, US 8. Sorry, US 8. Um, excellent condition. It is vintage. And honestly, the material is so figure-hugging and amazing. It, it looks amazing on you, Honestly, yeah. it's such a nice material. It really, really kind of sits so snug. That price is absolutely nuts. It's £495. That's $629. US dollars. This in store right now is £2,000. Chanel ready to wear. Honestly, it's just the just a, t a plain t-shirt. Yeah. Like £2,000. Honestly... Me get this today yeah um the stripes are really flattering on the body it's really it's nice. like cream and beige and you get that little cc and honestly yeah. the best best quality and i had it paired with this dior jacket because it's so cold this is like the perfect jacket to grab right now a l l o five four three mark sizing on this is a small but this again will definitely go up to a uk 12 which is a us 8 yeah is anyone going skiing has anyone booked a ski holiday um, this is perfect for those. I mean, obviously, I'd wear this like in London and just like on the weekend chilling. Oh, yeah, definitely. Literally, what I'm wearing today, like jeans, yeah. some boots, and this is a perfect kind of chilled outfit. But this is perfect for skiing in the evening or like at Prey Ski. Wear it under your ski jacket and keep warm. Um, it will go up to a 12. It's got a really nice, cozy hood. I feel like a teddy bear. Yeah, it's that teddy material. Excellent condition. And it's got the Chris and Dior logo on the back as well which is gorgeous yeah and this is under retail by the way so this is going to be under retail it's more of a current piece um a shilling jacket i have a shilling jacket it's not quite dior it's from zara but i've had it for years and it is something that i think is a staple in a wardrobe everyone needs a shilling jacket because it's just an easy cozy but also looks really really cute as well so i'm um, i love this and it's perfect for this icy weather that we're experiencing right now in London. Yeah. I love it. And we'll get the pricing of this in a second. Then we're going to go back to some bags. That is it for the ready to wear though. Yes. We do have one more pair of shoes, which are a staple and they are slightly smaller. They're a size 37. So any 37s, let us know in the comments and we will pull out the last pair of shoes for you also. The Dior has just been pinned and the price is up. This is 1,567 random, 567 pounds. <laughs> 1,992 US dollars for a dual jacket. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Okay, guys. We're over an hour in. Yes. We've got 60 people here and mm -hmm. we are leveling up handbag collections today. Myself and Sarah, we're going to be live for just under an hour left. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Vicky, if you're having trouble checking out on that Chanel bag, let me know in the comments. I know you said there's some bad weather in the US, so let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. And if you guys want us to do any uh, midway point recaps, let us know now, and we can show you guys any items that you might, might have seen over the last hour, um, and we can show them again. Ready? Ready. What does, what does everyone want to see? Do you want to see more smaller bags? Should we show some... Uh, larger bags. What does? What's your want to see? What's your next favorite? My next favorite. Oh, it's either going to be that or it's going to be these. I thought so. These. I, go for that one. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I'll I'll let you hold one with me yeah. because we've got an option of two colors. Look at these. This is so cute. These are adorable. I saw these and I was like, we'll pin the blue one in a second. But let me start off with the orange one. This is seriously adorable. Don't you? It's little straps on. <laughs> I know. It's seriously, these are so cute. Right, so Rachel, this one is for you. ABC0370. ABC0370. And this one is known as the uh, mini top handle, um, the bamboo top handle bag. And it's, of course, by Gucci. Now, I up, honestly, I saw these on the shelves. I was like, these are adorable. So just nice. Everything about it is just so cute. It, honestly, it's Screams my soul, don't yeah, you Yeah, it does. This I is... love the bamboo as well. Yeah. Like, I, I love bamboo as a feature for Gucci. I just think, even against the bright coloured leather, yeah. it is just so perfect. I agree. And also, with, like, the, the wooden details, I think it should just belong to Gucci. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah, honestly, I think it just looks really nice. Um, anything with, like, a bamboo top um, 
leather, even if you were um, carrying it this way, I would immediately know this is a Gucci bag. Yeah. Even though there's like no sort of like detailing here on, on the back, but I would just know that that is a Gucci piece purely because of this. Absolutely love the contrast as well. So this one is of course in a beautiful bright color orange. It is also with the gold and the uh, bamboo feature. Now it is complete with its original dust bag. I do believe that these are brand new pieces. I do mm -hmm. think that these are yeah. completely untouched. Oh wow, I've just seen something. <gasps> oh, I love it. I've just seen something. I don't know what that is for though. I don't are. know either, but I like it. But either I really way. like it. I don't know what it's for, but I like Can it. I... <laughs> we're supposed to be the experts and we're gonna ask you guys. Look what? at these little straps what? that it comes with. And this one comes with a bright purple. I love the purple with the orange. Look at the orange and the purple. Look at all these colours today. They just look, this is so me, like these bright colours. Absolutely love it. So this one is a brand new piece, I can confirm. The seals are all still on. This is untouched. This one has a lovely uh, adjustable strap. Um, of course, you can make it longer shorter however you wish and then they've got like these i don't know what these straps are supposed to do but it's a really cool feature um i don't know i don't know but they look nice on the handle they do they really do so as you can see on the inside it is again like i keep saying it's untouched I, I, completely brand new complete with its booklet it does have um a interior smaller pocket really lovely size definitely fits a large maxi iphone max iphone um along with lots of different um uh other items that you can place yeah. this is a spacious bag yeah it doesn't look it but it definitely is yeah now i love the orange and the i i do too i mean I, i'm not sure what you're supposed to do with these but i do i i love that you know you can be playful you can be colorful with it i love this or bright sort of like orange and um purple together we'll probably find out what i mean i just think it's supposed to be more like a decorative i guess is it does it have a crossbody strap it does it does it has um it's crossbody let me put it on crossbody so that's what it looks like personally i would absolutely love this as a top handle this is yeah. how i normally carry my bags but for anyone who wants to the use it on. as a yeah the seals on so i won't i won't uh yeah, I probably wouldn't, but I can sort of see like halfway. Let's see if we can do a little. It's fully adjustable, so I would assume that you can go like quite low with it or yeah. quite snug into the waist. No, I agree. Um, is, is this? Gosh, it's so brand new. I think it's got. I think it's just your eyes. <laughs> is it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> By the way, probably. I'll let you do it. <laughs> That's so funny. Amazing. I never knew. Did you not? I never knew, no. I know, it's really bad. Tomorrow, actually. I'm actually going to leave my glasses at the office. How about that? I think that would be a good idea. Oh God, I won't speak too soon. I don't think... There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I won't remove um, this seal, but just as an understanding, um, let's say if it was like this, I'll sort of hold it like this and hold it like that. So this is what it would look like as a crossbody. Um, of course, it is adjustable, so you can make it shorter, you can make it longer. Sits really comfortably, actually, and I love this pop of colour. So, so this one, let me let's get the price up. Okay, price is one thousand five hundred and twenty-two pounds. That's one thousand nine hundred thirty US dollars on that one. And then we also have it in a different colourway yep. as well, which is really, really beautiful. This is such a nice colour. It is. This is ABC0354. It's known as the Dome Diana. Yeah. Um, it has the bamboo handles, the teal teal coloured calfskin, grained calfskin. Yeah. These kind of ambery contrast straps with the Gucci logo. Um, and then it also comes with a little Gucci toggle at the side on the zipper, which I think is so adorable. By the way, I've only just realised that. I think How it's cute. the cutest little feature. It's so pretty. And this also, of course, comes with a strap, comes with its dust bag, and this is in like new condition as well. Seals are still on the strap. This is a great one. I'm yeah. loving this. Me too. Really good for just like brightening and as we were saying, elevating your yeah. wardrobe. You could just literally wear white pants, white t-shirt and just carry this. And it does 
all the talking. Yeah, I have to say, like, obviously we're here to talk about elevating your wardrobe and your collections. For me, over the years, I've really figured out, firstly, like, my style changed, obviously, as I grew up. And I was introduced to the world of like handbags and Hermes by Sabrina. But also yeah. I've really I've really figured out that I actually love to wear more neutral clothing and I just love colourful bags. Like I actually I don't own that many neutral bags. Most of my bags are actually pops of colour and I Same. love to wear just really neutral and then I throw a bright coloured bag on and that's when I feel the best, to be honest. There's so many colours I want to add, orange being one of them and I know you have an orange. I do have an orange. You have the most gorgeous <laughs> orange and also blue is a colour I want to add. I yeah. just want to, uh, just emailing you as I'm having some issues. Yeah, sure. What I'm going to do, Vicky, if you send me an email, I'm going to grab my laptop. I'm going to get yeah. Sarah to show another bag and I'm going to help you um, through the process and yeah. we'll see what we can do. But yeah, I just, I'm all for colourful bags um and i think that the orange and the blue and these contrasting colors that they come with are beautiful yeah actually like these these seem like they're like current season or something because yeah i've not actually seen these before yeah i agree okay so i think you should do it the bridal brack yeah let's do that actually we have two really really fun ones actually let's start off with this one Can I grab my laptop? yeah okay so let's move on to a little bit of hermes now this is such an it bag right now I see this everywhere. I see it all over Instagram. I see it all over TikTok. Um, let me go ahead and give you this view. This is SKC1577. SKC1577, also known as the Hermes Brighter Back. Um, this one is in color navy. I honestly, I was actually looking at this when I was setting up the shelves. I was asking the team, I was like, guys, do you think this is a bit like my style? Shall I get it? Um, they seem to love it. Um, it is actually usually a toiletry bag, so it's um, actually crafted for to keep your toiletries on. But a lot of people, you see this everywhere. Everyone's carrying this as their everyday bags, as their summer bags, as their beach bags. You can get them in different sizes. We've got a few actually, so um, size comparison. I will also pin this skew as well, but um, depending on you know what size you like, this is more my cup of tea if I'm completely honest, but they do come in different sizes as well. Now, as I said, this is uh, quite hard, believe it or not, quite hard to get a hold of these ones um, from store. Um, you see them all on the resale market as well. And we happen to have uh, in navy, we've got two navies in different sizes, and we also have an orange. These are brand new, these are untouched, and they are uh, ready to be um, purchased and shipped. So thank you so much for putting the 895. eight nine so eight hundred and ninety five pounds. Again, brand new. It's honestly adorable. I love this. What are your thoughts on these? I have one. Do you? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I it's so funny because uh the other day I was actually showing the navies yeah. and I think it's always been considered a summer bag. And then the second I picked up the navy, I thought, this is such a nice winter bag. Yeah. Like, this right for right now is such a nice winter kind of version of the bag. Yeah. Again, get these before the summer, guys, because next summer these are just going to skyrocket again. I agree. Um, you can also use this. I mean, I personally wouldn't, but you can use it as like a makeup bag or a cosmetics yeah. bag. Um, I think the navy and black combo makes it such... Um, do they have different prices? That's strange. I'll double check that, MS. Rachel, would you mind just um, making the price of the Gucci's both the same? Whichever one is lower, we can just match the price of that. Um, yeah, I just think this is a perfect wintry bag. Yeah. Um, we also have the slightly smaller size. Yeah, I just showcased that one, and I'm oh, just about amazing. to pin this one. Amazing. Adorable. I think they're really, I think they're, they're really so like nice. easy, go easy going, top handle, no fuss. Yeah. They sit really comfortably, whether it's just on the crook of your arm, if you want to hold it, top handle. It's one of those really like relaxed pieces that you know you can just throw a bunch of things in and just use very casually as well. Really good for travel as well, good for the beach, that kind of thing as well. So this is the larger size, and this one, the skew for that one is ALC1006. Again, brand new, untouched. Um, absolutely love this one. And we thanks got, Rachel. Um, so we have the smaller ones are. So let let me know if you do want me to do. A report on this what do you, do you want to show it yeah yeah well we can so we've done both of these so we'll just yeah. do a quick size comparison yeah. 
Um, I think we should swap because I know you'll take that one. And I, I would. would. Take, I'd take this yeah. one. So. I was actually asking Lima. I was like, Lima, shall I get this? You should. I know. Yeah, I really should. like it's it. It's really nice. It is. And again, they don't come up in black very often. Yeah. It's not a bag you'd expect to see in black, but when you see it, it, it's, it works. Um, mm. I would go for the slightly bigger size. Yeah. And this is going to fit sunglasses. It's going to fit a hairbrush. It's yeah. going to fit like half a makeup bag in here. Absolutely. Like this is a really spacious bag yeah. and it's so lightweight. Um, yeah. And as you use it, as the time goes on, again, the um, canvas will slouch slightly yeah. and give like a slightly um, softer yeah. appearance on it as well. Yeah. They've both been pinned. You've got the larger one at £950. Yep. And then you've got, oh wait, is the larger one more or is the smaller one more? I feel like the the larger one, I gave the skew for the larger one. Okay, yeah, so that's the £950 and then $1,207 US dollars. Yeah, they are both navy, well they are black and navy, so black they, both navy, have, yeah. they both have navy in them. So yeah, yeah. It's, if it's listed as navy, it works. Yeah. And then we have this one. This is I one. love this colorway, yeah, by so the way. I. I really do. This is the last of the Bride of Rags, honestly. I would recommend all of you guys grabbing one. They're such a nice addition to your wardrobe. I've worn mine mostly in the summer, but mine is the Toil Canvas with orange. So nice. it's, a, it's a summery tone. This is ALC0992. Um, this is an orange with a burgundy, very on trend right now, matches my nails. Yes. Um, this is the slightly smaller size. This is like pristine condition. And I just love it, honestly. It's so, so nice. Color is amazing. Yeah. Um, inside is easily opened. Obviously, it has that uh, button. I think even with the, the the mini ones, that because of the shape of the bag and how box fit is, there's so much you could fit in there. Yeah, I agree. And nice clean canvas in the interior. Like new condition. This is the third variation that we have today. Um, Vicky, I've got my laptop, so I'll wait for your email and then I can help you with that um, order as well. And we we'll get the price of this one. They're not pre-owned. Well, they, everything essentially is pre-owned. So the, the term pre-owned means that it's had an owner before. So everything Luxury Promise sells is considered as pre-owned. In terms of the condition, these are like new. So they're like new condition. They don't have any signs of wear. Um, there's no discoloration. I'd give them, you know, 10-10 condition. Um, there's no wear to the hardware, the interior. So yeah, they are like new. Um, this is the third one that we were just showing. And then we obviously had the navy in two different colours, um, in two different sizes, sorry. Yeah. We're going to get this one pinned and then we're going to keep moving, guys. Yeah. Any recaps, let us know at any point. We can um, recap anything that you've, you've seen already. Um, I'm going to have to do that hair bag because I just love it. Yes. This is £995 and that is US dollars for the orange. Let's do this one. Yeah. So it's a slightly bigger version than what we see uh, more often, which is the size 31. Um, this is AJC0085. This is the Herbag 39. So it's pretty much the same size as like a Birkin 40. Um, it's in that natural colored canvas paired with palladium hardware and a black classic leather. Um, isn't it gorgeous, Rachel? Love this. I just love them open. Me too. I hate bags done up. This suits you. I would honestly buy this. Like, I think it's so cool. This for a weekend away. Yeah. For, you know, if I'm if I'm going on a long haul flight, this would be my must have bag. Yeah. It's great for the office. Like, I could fit my makeup bag in here. Um, probably like my gym stuff and my work stuff throughout the day. Um, does the Louis Vuitton come with a pouch? It doesn't, Sarah. It doesn't come with its pouch, no. Um, this also has a long strap, so over the shoulder, sits nicely. It does also go as a crossbody, although I probably wouldn't wear it as a cross because the 31 is more suitable for a cross, whereas I feel like the 40 just looks a little bit big, even yeah. on me as a crossbody. Um, but works really nicely, just over the shoulder. Um, the back pocket is ideal. I'd actually probably wear it this way than the other way. I like the back pocket to be shown. Um, yes, they're made of canvas roof. Um, back pocket is really spacious, perfect for your passport, your phone, your wallet, everything you need. It comes with a dust bag. This is in like excellent condition, as you can see. There's no discoloration. There's no stuff uh, scuffing. The hardware is in excellent condition. And the inside is really, really spacious with no condition um, point outs. 
so it's I love this it's actually the sister Kelly so it's designed to be like the casual Kelly um, of the MS world and it's definitely a unisex bag this is something that you can share within your household um, if you have kids it's gonna be a great one to keep your things and their things inside especially when you're traveling obviously that long strap makes it really comfy just over the shoulder it looks so nice I just love it. Honestly, I love it. I love a hair bag. Yeah, honestly. me too. Have you seen that we've got a very small one downstairs? Have you seen it? The small, it's like a small one. Yeah, it's like I've never seen that size before. I haven't seen that. It's very, very I'll cute. I'll have to look tomorrow. Yeah, you have to. You must. This is it's definitely so nice. like, a Nikos had his eye on this, which is so funny. Oh, that would really suit yeah, you, actually. Yeah, I agree. It is. It's just one of those bags that anyone can wear, and you'll just look really cool wearing it, to be honest. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. Leather is in good condition, nice and shiny. And like I said, there's no call outs for the condition of the canvas. And the price is insane, 2,995 pounds. Wow. That's 3,800 US dollars. That's a, that, that is, is actually an incredible price. That is, a that is price. less than a 31, which is the smaller size. Yeah. Um, honestly, that is an unbeatable price. Um, is the hair bag the one you can change the canvas part for other bottoms? Yeah, so the hair bag actually completely, com completely comes undone. So you actually untwist the hardware, you pull out the kind of skeleton structure, and you can actually interchange the bags if you have multiple. So you can change the hardware, the leather, and the canvas on all of your hair bags and kind of build your own look. You can also fully remove the, the longer strap if you wanted to as well. So yeah, it is one of those bags that's kind of interchangeable if you already have a hair bag collection. Um, but obviously it'd have to be the same size. It'd have to be the 30, uh, 39 if you wanted to get this and change it with another one in your collection. I love this. I really like that. Such a good one. Yeah. Okay, let me put this here. Okay. I'll show another, another yeah. I'm going to double check my email. Okay, so this is um, for anyone who's looking for a lovely evening bag. This one is, Rachel, this one is for you. It's ASC4293. ASC4293. Now, it's Valentino. I showed, a Valen I showed two pairs of Valentino shoes uh, previously. This would honestly be a perfect matchy situation. Look at this one. So we have the classic Valentino top handle bag. This one is honestly so pretty. The color of this one as well. It's just the perfect sort of natural tone. It is almost like that. It's, I wanna say that it's like a nude, but it's got like a pinky nude tone to it. Now, this one is also got the uh, very beautiful chain detailing, which is, by the way, removable, actually. So you are able to remove the chain completely as well, or you can wear it both crossbody, or you can wear it as a shoulder bag, and as well, you can wear this as a top handle bag as well. The good thing about all of, um, all of uh, the bag in general, you can actually remove the top handle as well as the chain and carry it as a clutch. So, so many ways that you can actually carry this bag like this too, and then you are able to wear it as a shoulder bag. And then of course, a crossbody if you are wanting to wear it as a crossbody as well. Now, I showed um, some Valentino shoes before, and I think that this would be the perfect essentials that you need um, for just dinner dates, going out with your girlfriends, um, on holiday, that kind of thing. This one is also a brand new piece. As you can see, that the um, tags are actually still on, which is really nice. Uh, the inside. So, the inside is again in crisp condition, as you can see. It has a uh, interior pocket. It uh, fully comes with its original cards, as well as its dust bag too. Now the size of the bag is really, really, it's a, it's a good sort of like evening size bag, whether it's for evening or whether it's for daytime, you are able to fit your um, iPhone in it, which is good. As you can see, it still has the seals, completely brand new 
untouched and it's absolutely gorgeous and this price is honestly incredible this one is for let me just have a look 1395 pounds so under uh, uh, 1400 pounds now this one is definitely under retail i know this because i actually have one in a shocking pink and i definitely paid more than that so this one can actually be yours if you're looking for just like a neutral um evening bag or like a daytime bag and you want something a bit more dressy because it does look a bit dressy when you do wear it how, how i personally wear mine is i like to uh, play around with the chain slightly make it a little bit longer and i always like to sort of have the chain detailing on the front so yes this one is absolutely gorgeous now is there anything that anyone uh, particularly wants to see please let me know we're uh, we've got 30 minutes left i'm getting lots of hearts on that bag i'm glad you guys like it too it's absolutely beautiful um does anybody want to see any recaps on anything specific um in the meantime i will show again a very very special piece this is probably one of my favorite pieces from the show uh this is for you rachel it's a sl2178 asl2178 gorgeous i love this bag the mini kelly this is so good yeah absolutely love this one this that that kelly even in chanel right now yeah. is impossible to get yeah you cannot get the chanel kelly the you top can't. handle the coco top handle you can't. all of these kind of original chanel-esque styles yeah. that are in the current you know current um stores are like gold dust and they actually sell for a premium and again i love vintage and this is vintage so mm -hmm. i would always always lean towards the vintage yeah. over the new yeah i actually agree i yeah. absolutely agree now this one is of course it's got all the most um you know your typical traditional uh uh buttery the most butteriest leather as you can see it's got its beautiful shine that shine is incredible because honestly i've seen the kelly in person one of my friends have it and it's still like that matted yeah it's that matted um one thing i really like about the vintage is honestly it's got that incredible shine it just shows how good the quality was back then of course it has your traditional 24 karat gold gilding which that pop against the black is obviously so so glamorous it's beautiful and it's got that top handle it's that very ladylike type of feel um this is a typical bag that i would honestly love to have in my collection whether yeah. you know honestly whether it's black or a bright color or like so, something a bit more like a natural tone i think i've seen one um a couple years ago we had one in like a lime green we color. did yeah i don't know why i never bought that and it was vintage <laughs> Honestly, that I was should. i remember that because i thought i still kick myself I need, about yeah that I, i'm literally kicking myself there are certain bags like there's certain bags that over the years i think back and think should have bought that and i remember it was such a good price as well i don't know what came over me but yes this one is that when you look at this what do you think of because when i see this i see that picture of like lady diana yeah i was just about car. to say this exact same thing princess diana yeah. coco chanel yeah yeah it's very elegant so the the history behind the chanel kelly bag um actually the chanel kelly was worn by grace kelly hence the name the kelly yeah um, and also that top handle that coco style top handle obviously back in the day bags weren't actually ever designed as a crossbody yeah women would never wear crossbody bags. yeah it was always handheld yes. feminine dainty women wouldn't dare wear a crossbody no. bag that was for the men the satchels whereas you know nowadays women are wearing um crossbodies but that this kind of rounded top handle is like the epitome of classic chanel and has a lot of history behind it throughout the years um this is let me double check the year Oh my god it's 1991 this is amazing this is 1991 chanel lambskin 24 karat gold to the cc logo and also i love this around the top the top handle you get that yeah. gorgeous gold hardware as well price is really amazing it's a just slightly higher than a wallet on chain in store now which this is, is crazy three thousand nine hundred and ninety five pounds yeah. it's an amazing amazing price for chanel i would have this over a classic flap any day of the week personally yeah um, i love it and bearing in mind it's like a 30 plus year old bag yeah. it's in 
pristine. Yeah. Like this is it's older than you. It is older than this me. This is older. It's a lot older than me. It's a lot. <laughs> this is older than Grace. Yeah. So this is honestly gorgeous. Just a few little things to point out that it has a teeny tiny little scarf, but obviously, um, I mean, of course, it is pre-owned. It has been loved, it has been used, and it's all part of the character. And actually, I really like these four little details because I just think it just makes it that much. Again, it's a talking piece. Anyone yeah. who enjoys vintage, anyone who enjoys um, Chanel, it's they would be able to immediately tell it's a, it's a vintage piece. And I think that's the beauty of it. And I honestly love the way it sits on the arm as well. It's comfortable. And again, it's very ladylike. I absolutely love this one. Yeah, it's such a good price as yeah. well. 3995 that is just over 5000 US dollars. Yeah. We are covering your customs and duties on all orders today. But that is only until the 8 p.m. mark. So you guys have got around 22 minutes to make your purchases. Um, again, recaps are welcome in the comments. You guys have gone quiet. Where are yeah. you? Where are you? Where are the comments? Let us know what you guys want to see. We're going to keep moving through the bags. Um, I have another Goya that I really want to show. Oh, yeah. This is that. so cool. Like, I I really need a bag like this, to be honest. You do. Especially because you do actually travel a lot. I travel so much and I don't own I don't own a duffel bag. I don't yeah. own a, like, a bag like this at all. And actually, um, I, I actually prefer this. I, I actually have a um, keeple and I prefer this to the keeple. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, everybody needs a bag like this in their collection. Um, it's something that I lack and I definitely noticed that I don't have one. Um, this is ALC 0969. This is a grey canvas Goyard keeple bag with silver hardware. This is a, a, an airplane friendly, um, I'm busy thinking about the Bride of Rack and LV, oh, Mel. Let me know if you need any like help in your decisions. Um, but this is an airplane, airplane friendly size. So this is perfect for um, travel. You can fly with this. Um, this would be like a real, like I'd use this as a weekend away bag, probably like two nights max, but <laughs> I carry a lot with me. Um, and I'd also use this as like a gym to work bag as well. But you really, really cannot go wrong with Goyard canvas. Um, now we're not doing free shipping today, but what I will do is if you do check out, I'll, I'll include a little gift inside, um, but no free shipping on today's show. And we are covering your customs and duties as well. So silver hardware, it's got a small pocket to the front. Inside, this is the, be this is the best thing about Goyard. I love the contrast canvas to the inside. Look at this. So bright yellow canvas interior in an excellent condition. You've got multiple pockets and compartments. Comes with a padlock and key so you can lock the bag nice and closed. And like, like we've been talking about the canvas in Goyard, it's really lightweight and durable. So it's easy to carry. The gray will go with everything. This is another household, um, a household bag. Anyone in your family can use this. It's absolutely unisex. And the base is nice and clean. It's a size 45 as well. Corners are nice and clean. Little bit of rubbing at the most to the leather on the corners, but that wouldn't bother me. And guys, the price is amazing. It's so good. Um, this is 3,200 pounds, and that is 4,060 US dollars for a Boston 45 from Goyard. The more I hold this, the more I love it. The more I, I, love I need that, it. <laughs> this is actually really, really, really nice. It is. Isn't it? I love the colour of so it. So well. good. The colour's amazing. My sister's got the um the um St. Louis in exactly the the grey and honestly it goes with so many yeah, outfits. Yeah, it's a really nice colour. Yeah. Grey obviously is like Sophie's favourite. This will just go mm. with absolutely everything. Also, greys are nice all season. Like grey is yeah. nice in the summer, it's neutral, so this will really last you forever. Handles are nice and clean as well. Love that. Okay, what else have we got left? Uh, let's show some sh uh, the last of our shoes that we have. Yeah, go for it. Let's do this one. Okay, so the skew for this one is ALC0909. ALC0909. And we have some classic Christian Louboutins in the most beautiful classic beige as you can see now are the i i don't i'm not sure let me figure out uh, if these are are they so kate's or they are or the pigal maybe they're so kate so kate 120s yeah. they're a 37 and a half yeah i would say if you're a true 37 i know they're 38 no oh 
Yeah. So oh, she, I was wrong. Sorry. Yeah. Box is wrong. Yeah, they're ah, 38. 38. So your UK size five. Um, these ones are, honestly, they are beautiful. And these ones are actually in excellent condition. Now, they have been resold. Uh, this would, uh, rather than being resold for the use of the purpose, it's more to have the grip because, as you can see, the the heel is in immaculate, practically unused condition. These, these I feel actually, like these are, are unused, right? These actually are for my mum's shoes. Oh, wow. And she wore them once. And there's an amazing place in West London where yeah. we used to get all of our Louboutins resold. So yeah. we'd, buy, we'd go from like Selfridges, we'd buy them in Selfridges, we'd go straight to West and we'd yeah. have them sold because... They're so slippy. They are. You They're can have so slippy. Accidents. I honestly, the amount of times I thought I'm going to break my neck if, if I don't have yeah. some sort of grip. So this is actually they're partnered with Louboutin. They're properly sold. Yeah. And this is a rubber grip sole. And not only does it you know help when you're wearing them, but it actually keeps the red sole forever. So you you never get that worn look to the Love underneath. That. Guys, look at the price. Four nine five. Insane. Four. Yeah. Four hundred and ninety five. Way lower than retail. And this is. A shoe that honestly every female needs in their wardrobe it's the perfect tone it can go with um, sort of like office attire it can go with like dinner attire you can wear these in the daytime evening on holiday as I said even uh, in the office with a suit how lovely absolutely love these ones um, it is the Chanel lambskin still available I did just send an invoice to someone for it so it is available until she pays. Yeah. Um, Daniela, I'll, I'll have to find out. It's got a really funny Italian name. Danielle, send me, Daniela, send me either an email or a DM. I need to go on Google Maps and find it. But um, it's so worth it. I had all mine done because like I said, I get so scared. I used to get so scared to wear them because I'm yeah. clumsy as it is. And they're so slippery. They are, they are actually very slippery. Yeah. Yeah. But they're, they're a classic. Like, I love those. I have those in, um, like, a dark grey yeah. snake skin, and I just love them. Nice. I should, should wear them soon. You should. Thanks, Rachel, for putting my email. Okay, guys, we are going to show the last couple of items. Yeah. And I'm going to call recaps officially now. We've got 15 minutes left. Yeah. You guys will only get your customs and duties covered until the hour marks. So you've got 15 minutes to make your purchases. Um, we are shipping globally. For those of you on Instagram, we cannot see your comments, so make sure to head over to luxurypromise.com if you do want to ask us any questions regarding the pieces. Now is the time to ask us anything in the comments if you want us to recap any of the pieces. Yeah. Um, Roshni, yeah, I can let you know, of course. I've just invoiced her, so I would assume she's going to take it, but like I said, it is a first comes first serve. I'm not allowed yeah. I, I get told off for reserve stuff. I'm not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> until, th until the money's on the table, I'm not allowed to reserve anything. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Otherwise, in the meantime, maybe we can, um, after I've showed the next piece, we can maybe even do the um, the recap of... Yeah. Yeah. We can even do that, just in case. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're absolutely right. It is a first come, first serve basis. So, moving on, That's we've so got cute. only 15 minutes left. So, moving on to my next piece. It's ALC1036. And we have the Bottega Jody again. These are one of those pieces. Everything goes with this, this jumper. It's the bright colours. Yeah. It's, it's just, so nice. It's honestly, it's so nice. Now, the girls at the office are obsessed yeah. with the Jodies. I feel like everyone's got a Jody. Shahina's yeah. got a Jody. Uh, Lima has Sophie one, does. Sophie, Jessie, yeah. everyone's got a Jodie and it's so fun because they've got all these different uh, colours and I absolutely love this one. Now, they tend to take the more uh, neutral colours if I were to have a Jodie. I don't actually have one. This would be my colour. The brighter, the better. Me too. Honestly. I want a yellow one. Do you? And I want the teen one. I want the bigger one. Nice. Yeah. I and I actually, I love the suede ones. Oh, I love this. Yeah, the suede you know is what? amazing. This is so unlike me, but the suede beige yeah love that yeah it's gorgeous i'm not really i don't really own beige bags it's just so not me but yeah. if i was to get the suede it would be in the beige, beige yeah love it love that because i wear a lot of whites and white t-shirts i think it would be a really nice way to sort of like again elevate your outfit elevate your wardrobe so yes this one is available this one is just so you know a brand new piece again um it is complete with it so all is um the little bits such as the original um dust bag and the little card 
Um, this, so this one is, I believe, the small size or the mini. This is the mini size. So it's um, a really uh, great size, to be honest. You can fit all of your um, everyday essentials. It fits an, uh, the, the large iPhone. It's got a very comfortable um, zipper where you can, it has easy access to go in and out of the bag. Um, again, nothing to report because this one is a brand new piece. Absolutely love this pink. It's that bright hot pink, I would like to call it. Mm. And it has the typical features, of course, the knot. And again, just a very comfortable, carefree so bag. Nice. You can just wear it um, on your arm or just hold it. It's just comfortable. I love it on you. I honestly like that. Let me see this on you. I just love it. I think I, it's, it's so, so comfortable. So comfy. It feels like you're carrying nothing. Nothing. Um, I just like it in the hand, to be honest. Yes. Same. And yeah, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I love the mini. I'd have a mini and I'd have a teen. Um, and I'd have them. I'd probably have the teen in the suede and the mini in the leather. So it really depends. But I do think, honestly, I think everybody needs a Bottega Jody in their collection. I, I actually agree. Yeah. I'm just I, late. To, we're late. I'm so late. We both are very one, late. I've wanted one for so long, but I just haven't. I'm not. I haven't been buying for a while. Yeah. But yeah, I absolutely will be adding one of these at some point. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I can. It's so good. Look at that colour. It's like rose lipstick. It is. It really it's is. It's so pretty. And like I'm wearing neutrals. Obviously, Sarah was like colour colour blocking. I'm in neutrals. And it goes. Like you can just throw colour with neutrals, like I was saying yeah. earlier. That's what I really love to do the most is like throwing throwing colours with neutral clothing. Pink, if you're a pink girl, this is the perfect pink in my opinion. Um, it's not too Barbie bright. It's got that kind of soft, soft pale tones underneath as well. And I think pink is an all year round color. I love pink with khaki green. Oh, nice. It's a really nice combination. Price is up. This is 1,400 pounds. And that is 1,779 US dollars. I'm gonna get the stuffing in nice and carefully. And we're gonna show the last couple items. And then that's, that's it, guys. Should we finish off with like a bag? Yes. Should we do the backing? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's do, I want to do the, I want to give you guys a quick pan yeah. of what we've got left and let us know of any recaps. Just of any recaps. Recap. So today we've had some really amazing pieces. We actually went through the caviar jumbo and that was at £6,900. We haven't got around to the Dior Je Dior bag. I picked this because it's the colour of the season. So if anybody's into that, let me know. Price is amazing on that. We did show the Louboutins and also the uh, Valentinos. I did have a red Birkin. This is actually from the candy collection. It's a Verso, so the interior is a different colour. So if anybody's in the market for a Birkin today, let me know. We then moved on to this vintage maxi bag, which I have just invoiced someone. But that, if it hasn't been checked out within like the next 10, 15, you guys are more than welcome to check out on that. Um, we also had this black lambskin Chanel Kelly bag. And we've got this beautiful, this is my favourite leather in Hermes, chevre leather, which is goat skin. Um, this amazing amazing constants which I actually would love to show if you guys are into that um we then showed the brighter brack series that we had we had the two small colors and then we had the navy and a slightly bigger variation then we moved on to some monograms we had the Louis Vuitton artsy as well as the Fendi baguette we had that gorgeous little Fendi baguette in the background that you can see here we've had goyards we've had damiers we've had her bags we've really had it all today then here's our little candy collection of all the colors then we have some bright tones so let's know what you guys want us to finish up with um I think I want to do the Constance. Do it. And then I'll let you do the Birkin. Fine. Let's do the Constance. It's so pretty. Yeah. The colour is amazing. This is a vintage Constance as well. Um, I'm going to show next. Oh, look at this colour. Yeah, it's so love this. nice. ABC uh, 1079. This is in the colour brick. Um, how much is in USD for the vintage Chanel Jumbo? Lily, is that the um, is that the caviar one? I'll get uh, Rachel to throw the price up in USD. But you do also have a currency converter on the website. So in either one of the corners, it will ask you what currency you want to see. The Neverfull has sold. 
Congratulations Yay. to whoever got that. Uh, we're moving on to this vintage Constance in the color brick. This is in one of my favorite, favorite leathers. It's chevrolet leather, which is goat skin. And goat skin tends to have a really prominent... Um, Sarah got it. Sarah, I'm really happy for you that you got that. So excited. This is your first Louis Vuitton bag. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let us know when you receive it. I hope you absolutely love it. And you can always email me for any information that you might need after you receive the bag. So Chevrolet leather always has a really prominent, slightly larger graining to the middle, which I just love. It's like, I just love it, I, as you can tell. Um, 24 karat gold gilded hardware. Hermes is actually the only, yeah, we can do the Birkin. Um, it's the only um, brand that still gilds the hardware in real 24 karat gold. Um, and you guys can convert the uh, prices all online. If you guys click on the items that you're interested in and convert to USD, um, you'll be able to find the USD price. Really nice, spacious interior. Little bit of wear in places. I don't think anyone's into the constant, so we'll get it pinned. And then we'll show the Birkin. Look at this colour. It's actually so amazing. Brick is the colour. Nice back pocket, perfect for a phone. Condition overall is uh, really nice and clean, like excellent. This has like little hairline scratches. Again, we're in front of a really harsh light. So it is in good condition. Again, Hermes offer the most amazing spa service. So if you are kind of put off by hairline scratches on hardware, then you can take it and actually have it replaced. Um, but I personally wouldn't. The price is up. I love this so much. This is a 24 NF. This is a 24 and it's at 9,900 pounds. That is 12,585 US dollars. And that has been pinned. And guys, we're going to finish up with the back in. I can see Sarah, prep uh, Sarah yeah. prepping. And this colour is so gorgeous. Isn't it? Yeah. Especially with, again, the blue. Yeah. I don't know how You're wearing like primary tones right Literally. now. Honestly, this is a lovely, lovely piece. Let me try and get into it. Why does it look so flat? The back. It's not flat at all. Um, it's designed, it does look quite flat on the screen. I know what you mean. It's not flat. It's actually really spacious. It's got a lot of room inside and it does actually open up wider as well. A lot of room. Nice secure closure at the front. It's like the ultimate daytime satchel bag for me. Yeah. yeah. So nice. Okay. Look at this. It is that true it rouge is, red yeah it is this is rouge yeah. cassack yeah. yeah okay so let me give you the skew for this one this is alc 0882 now this one is the b35 you you tend to carry 35s right yeah that's your size yeah yeah absolutely yeah. love this one i like a 25 for an mm. evening love a 25 but i am 30 i have no use for really no how interesting because i yeah it's a 25 with the, I mean, I'm either carrying my yeah. laptop or I'm going out for dinner. Yeah. That 30 doesn't do either do of anything. that for me. Yeah, I so see I'm a 25 mean. or I'm a 35. Yeah. And like in the Kelly, like I'm like a, I love a 28. Nice. And I love a 35. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one is honestly, I, I um, we're getting loads of hearts on this one. This one is absolutely That's beautiful. That's all right, Lily, no worries. Um, Rachel might be able to help you. Let, let me do it. Do you mean the, which which one? I've got it fell over there. Yeah. Which, which bag, Lily, and I'll do it for you. Let me know. It's so stunning, this red. This yeah. is Rouge Cassac. Right. This one, and, oh, you're going to have to help me in the colour on the lightning. inside as well. Blue Talassa. Oof, look at that. That colour combo with the red and the blue on yeah. the inside. Honestly, it's such a beautiful colour tone. Yes, yeah, so this on is both of them. This is from the candy collection. Um it's Rouge Cassac with actually contrast stitching, which is quite rare. This is yellow gold hardware. And then the inside is blue talassa. Now this is um, Epsom leather. So it's actually quite a lot. It's the lightest leathers of the Hermes family. Um, and it holds its shape really, really nicely. So I, I think if you guys like a structured bag, then Epsom leather is the leather to go for. Um, it's so beautiful. Yeah, anyone can check out on the Maxi. Yeah, vintage Chanel Jumbo. Let me double check. What is everyone's sizes, um, size preference when it comes to Birkins? 
I'd love to know. This is a really interesting question for me. I do, I actually, Grace, you wouldn't even believe, you know my orange is a size 40. 40. Yeah, I remember you telling me, I thought, really? It's so big. But you know what? It's my travel bag. I absolutely love it. And I really do appreciate a big, like, so this one on me right now, it does look a little bit big, but I actually have a size bigger than this one. So imagine, I use it as my travel bag. Now this one is honestly such a lovely piece. Did anyone send... It's eight seven ninety, Lily. I'll do it for you if no one else is going to do it. <laughs> what is it? Eight seven ninety. There we go. Eight thousand seven hundred ninety USD, Lily, for you on that one. Oh, it's going to come out a little bit different with Rachel. I don't know why though. <laughs> I just googled it. Um, thanks, Rach. Thank you. Um, Daniela's size is a Birkin 30, Caf's a 25, NF's a 30 or a 35. Yeah, Holly's a 35. I'm a 35. Yeah. What yeah. size are you? 25. Yeah. Have to. <laughs> of course. Stupid Have question. Yeah. So Have we'll quickly to. talk about the condition. This yeah. is the last bag of the day. Um, again, it's a it's a Rouge Cassac Birkin 35 in Epsom leather, um, cream contrast stitching, gold hardware, blue Talassa interior excellent condition it's coming with its key and crochet and padlock and it's in an excellent condition how are the corners the corners Literally. are oh my gosh guys Please. this is like pristine condition can i try her please <gasps> i want you to because this is so your thing That's, oh it's so, it's so nice. i love the structure of epsom i have to say yeah. i actually have clemence which is really soft like slouchy it's a lot heavier by the way than this yeah epsom's so good if you want a big bag but you still want it to be light to carry definitely go for epsom this is twelve thousand five hundred pounds that's fifteen thousand um eight hundred ninety us dollars and it is the last bag of the day that is it guys we are finished thank you everybody so much mm. We finished with the best. We did. Sure. We saved the best of last. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I'm actually back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. GMT. I'm going to be going through some watches. So you'll have probably an hour and a half to two hours with me in the morning. All things watches um, and that kind of classic timepieces for 2024. Yeah. Sarah's going to be joining me next Friday as well. I will. Which is going to be I'm so excited. Fun. Yeah, so we're going to be doing... Um, Thanks, Rachel, so much. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Rachel. Me and Rachel have been busy bees today together. <laughs> We've had such a productive day. Rachel's um, been busy. I was doing a show with uh, Sarah before. She was yeah. helping us. She's been really busy today. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. And I will see you in the morning. Yes.